I'm Tim Lamb, Senior Product Development Manager here at Evergreen Enterprises, also known as Flag Daddy, and more than flags, I love food. <laughs> Today, we have our Product Development Assistant, Jasmine Harris, and she will be my sous chef today, yes. and she oh. also is experts on everything food and gourmet here at Evergreen. Mm -hmm. So Jasmine, tell me why or what is unique about the Evergreen Gourmet Giftables? Yes, so for this cycle we're doing all everyday items and then we really wanted to focus on foods that have a story. So all the companies here are either family owned and then they also have a great sustainability story. Wow, mm -hmm. so with those we will have an appetizer for you today. Mm -hmm. We will also have a salad for you today and then main course will be a pasta, a summer pasta, and then we'll finish it off with a dessert. All of the evergreen gourmet gift items are, make mm -hmm. great gift baskets. Yes. And with all of these items coming from Europe and overseas, mm -hmm. uh, where else do we get some of our foods from? Uh, Italy, Turkey, um, yeah, France. Great, great for an executive gift. Mm -hmm. So Jasmine, let's throw in some filler in the okay. bottom of our Yes. pieces. Let's have some fun. That kind of gives you a good foundation to rise up. Right. Try to create kind of balance to okay. your product. And then I'm going to add some pasta. I think I'm going to do some uh, seasoning, some olive oil, and... Do some seasoning as well. And then this is crackers. Oh, crackers. I'm going to go back and add some more crackers here since we're since I'm doing an executive gift here. I feel like this is perfect size for like teachers. Great Love for teachers. It. Yes. Then if you want to you can always add deco mesh. Okay. Deco mesh is great. I think with all the other filling and things that we've got here, I think mm -hmm. I'm going to not do the deco mesh today. Okay. But so now Jasmine, let's mm -hmm. clean up our air a little bit because yes. we're going to wrap this big one here. Streamers. I like to use wire ribbon and then we're going to finish it off with a nice decorative bow and fluff that up there. All gourmet food from Europe and uh, food makes great gifts. Yes. So you've heard charcuterie board. You've heard cheese and crackers and meats, but have you heard about butter boards? No, and I'm excited for that. So, mm -hmm. before we get into this, tell me okay. a little bit about the crackers, just an overview of some yes. of the products that we're showing today. So we have products, and this is out of the UK. And one, the packaging so cute. I love this little mermaid. But um, this right here is perfect, like you said, to go on charcuterie boards. It is vegan, um, non-GMO. It's also egg-free, so perfect for anybody with dietary restrictions. Egg free Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this was one of my favorite in the mm -hmm. office because you, you yes. can't just These start start with just one you mm -hmm. keep right on so these ones are from Entropis. they're from Italy this one is also a family-owned brand so they started back in the 1800s believe it or not and wow. they still have the same um, traditions that they use to make them Jasmine if mm -hmm. you will if you will grab the small bowl over there for okay. me and Jasmine while you're grabbing that I'm gonna grab your two-tier server here Alrighty. to serve the crackers on uh, we're gonna infuse some butter today I've got a Southwestern okay. one that mm -hmm. is uh, more uh, Southwestern flavor with chipotle and lime, and mm -hmm. that'll go great with, I saw one of the Ooh, crackers. Yes. Chili, ginger, and garlic. Okay. I'm also going to do a more Italian one with just basil and uh, basil and garlic and parsley. Okay, that was good with the sea salt or the cheddar. Ooh, Most definitely. Okay. And last but not least, you know, mm. the caviar of the south is pimento <laughs> cheese. And so that's great with all these crackers. You don't want to just serve yeah. dry crackers even though yeah. you could do these. Yeah, because they're really But delicious. the butters will be great for the dip with the sticks. Okay. The pimento cheese works great on the crackers as well as the butter as well. Ooh. So let's jump right into this real quick. So you start out with just making sure that your butter is room temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so let's start with the chili lime. Okay, now is the butter salted or unsalted? The butter is unsalted. Okay. And the reason I do the unsalted butter is because I like to control how much salt goes in it. I have uh, one teaspoon of 
lime zest. Okay. And then you just want to incorporate that into the butter. It already smells good. I can Doesn't smell it smell lime. good? It does. It's like summer. We need smell-o-vision. Yes. And then <laughs> one of these is cilantro. You can get oh, spiced yes, paste, paste, and that works well uh, equally as well. Okay, but I like that. this just because it's quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit of mm -hmm. salt. Okay. And if you'll open up those crackers and get going on that yes. one. So I'm probably okay. going to put maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay. okay. Everything's better with a little fresh. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Like the color looks amazing. And then Jasmine, if you'll hand me one of those little dishes up there. Okay. And these are a part of a new collection. I wanted to stop and yes. focus. This is part of a new collection. This is all mango wood, mm -hmm. and then it has an enameled surface, so mm -hmm. it is really food nice. safe. So mm -hmm. all of these pieces that you see here today, mm -hmm. with this enameled, with these beautiful floral prints, mm -hmm. this is from a collection we called our Paramount Collection. Yep, the Artisan that Collection. Was, uh, okay. Artisan. Yep. Uh, this is uh, just neat, neat, fun little stuff mm -hmm. that uh, also is available at Evergreen. Mm -hmm. If you'll grab a spoon over there, Jasmine, yes. I'll let you go ahead and be putting the pimento Ooh, cheese yay. in that. Okay. The crew's mouth is watering. <laughs> And this one, since we've got that cheese, I think what I'm going to do is just we'll do a quick Italian one right here, and then that will have some basil and some parsley, right around a tablespoon in there. Okay. And I use the garlic paste. Make it easy on yourself. Mm. And probably just about a tablespoon of the garlic paste probably here about a quarter to a half of salt, a little cracked pepper. Okay. And then we'll incorporate that. I definitely think that'll taste so good with the breadsticks. I'm excited for that. I just love how it looks so pretty in the bowls. Like, I love it. And what's so really cute. cool about these enamel bowls is during the evening as they use it and it goes down, then mm -hmm. you start to see the, the pretty Yes. Bowl color starts yeah, to come design. through as it goes down. Mm -hmm. And so we've got our crackers mm -hmm. and these crackers, let's see, which one were we going to try? We've got a little server over here ready to go and I'm going to step to the side here and put that on there. Okay. So I'm going to be putting on the chili, ginger, and garlic on our tears. Over here over there snacking. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> And you know, even since it, all of it coordinates together, if you wanted to like take one of the bowls and set it up there in your tier server, you could do that as well. It's all about being able to quickly come up with some great entertaining ideas and your appetizer is set and ready to go. I'm so excited to taste these out. We finished our appetizers, mm -hmm. so now it's going to be time to prepare our salad. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little mm. bit about these salad dressings. Yes, so we're offering five different salad dressings from a company called Chef Seasons out of Turkey. And so yes. Chef Seasons wants to make cooking, like bringing the mystery out of it. So we also offer five different wing sauces already made prepared, so you don't have to do anything. So the strawberry you said was the number one. Yes. So the strawberry is what we're gonna use today to create mm -hmm. a very quick and easy summer salad. Yes. Uh, use your favorite lettuce. Okay. Uh, we're going to use spinach today okay. with romaine. So, Jasmine, if you'll go ahead and put that yes. in. Move and so what you'll side. do is we will probably start out with about a quarter of a cup. Okay. Because you don't want, it depends on how much lettuce you have, and you definitely mm -hmm. don't want your uh, salad to be soggy. Yeah. And actually, I can tell already it's going to take a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to take about a half a cup for okay. two bags of lettuce. Ooh, and this dressing smells really good. It divine. smells divine. And so here, and you know, I have to give a call out here again mm -hmm. to our beautiful serving pieces yes. here. Toss it around. I like to do the salad dressing on the lettuce first to okay. make sure the lettuce gets coated good. Okay. We can now you can add our extra ingredients in here. Okay. And so what we've got here is mm -hmm. bacon bits. Okay. It's about ten slices of bacon crumbled up. Mm -hmm. Do not do imitation. Do the real thing. Mm -hmm. But you there's can some. Taste the difference. Oh yeah, you can mm -hmm. taste taste the difference. Some Parmesan cheese here. Okay. Everything's better with Parmesan cheese on it. Mm -hmm. And all these are about a half a cup. Okay. And then purple onion or red onion. Okay. 
It's a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. I cut it up, quarter mm -hmm. it, and then cut it up in thin slices. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I don't like getting a big old chunk of yeah, onion not in, your salad. <laughs> in my salad. Uh -huh. uh, mushrooms. Ooh, These I love mushrooms. are, um, I just dice mm -hmm. them or chunk them up. Mm -hmm. And also about a half a cup as well. Okay. Of those. Any particular mushroom or just? Uh, mushroom? Your favorite. I okay. use the baby Bella. Okay. And then some fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. So, to, help accent that mm -hmm. wonderful dressing and the okay. poppy strawberry Ooh, dressing go goes about a cup I'm to a half a this. cup of strawberries. Okay. Mandarin oranges. I so I'm gonna put all the mandarin yes, oranges please. in there. Drain those well. Okay. Uh, almond accents, okay. Uh, roasted almonds. I use the prepackaged one and in this particular uh, salad toppings mm -hmm. came uh, cranberries mm -hmm. and blueberries. So what I'm going to do with this is, of course, I'm going to toss it a little bit more to make sure everything gets coated well. Okay. Last but not least, okay. I'm going to get you to get the um, some croutons. Okay. So just some regular, I like the big chunky Texas ones, just put those in there. Okay. And All I back. usually do those last. Okay. That way they don't get soggy. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And so you put those in there, mm -hmm. toss that around good. So there you go. Okay. And so Jasmine, mm -hmm. I'm going to put that to the side there. All I'm going right. to get our, Ooh, beautiful our beautiful bowl, bowl. from Evergreen. Yes. And I'll let you just fill that up. Um, not completely full, but. And yeah. the tongs are so cute, they match the bowl. Oh yeah. So you can serve those up in your Evergreen bowl. Good job. Yes. And then we'll put these over here and, and there. Okay. And then simple and easy, a beautiful mm -hmm. summer salad courtesy of Evergreen Strawberry yes. Poppy Dressing. Mm -hmm. From Chef Seasons. Exciting, yes. It's time for the main course. Yes. A great pasta. summer pasta deal. Mm -hmm. And we yes, use this pasta from one of our gift sets. So first we have the La Fabrica de la Pasta. We're offering three different gift sets. And what makes this pasta different than some of the USA brands that mm -hmm. I can go to any grocery store and yes. pick, pick up. So we have Durham wheat pasta here. It has a different flavor and then it also... You can't overcook it. Yes, that's right. You so, cannot overcook it. And you know, we joke about it. If you let it sit all day, yes, mm -hmm. you can overcook it. But you can go over five, ten minutes or under, mm -hmm. over, under, and the pasta, it stays al dente. Yeah. Durham wheat mm -hmm. also has um, higher fiber content. Ooh. It also is has more a protein in it as well okay. as normal. Ooh, yeah. The drying in there, drying different yes, than the drying yes. technique. Yes, drawn bronze. So with this one, it's a slow drying process at low temperatures, and so it helps the pasta have like a rougher texture to make sure that it absorbs its pasta sauce, and it's not as easily to break. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And within this dish today, we're also uh, one of the bases is an olive oil. Yes. So the brand is the Tenunta Santillario Pinin olive oil from Italy. So this is also a family owned farm and they use native olives to Italy. And so one thing that brings its natural taste of the olive oil is the soil, which has a lot of richness to it. And one thing I noticed right away is, is how it's packaged. Yes, yes, the packaging is beautiful. You never want your mm -hmm. olive oil in a glass or a clear or any glass product mm -hmm. because the sunlight will cause your olive oil yes. to sour or to mm -hmm. go bad quicker. You yes. want it in something uh, mm -hmm. solid so you can't see it. And one of the little things too we loved about it is it has a little pop-up spout. So mm -hmm. you pop it up and then it screws, it. little tap screws off. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the base to our pasta. About a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of olive oil. Okay. We are okay. using the garlic infused oil on this. Mm -hmm in this particular recipe. And this is okay. like a summer pasta. Mm -hmm. And we're using the pasta, we cooked it, and you're boiling your pasta, make sure you add plenty of salt. Okay. It usually takes, and you, I know people out there with high blood pressure are gonna scream, <laughs> um, but you need at least two and a half to three tablespoons of salt okay. when you're doing a full package of pasta. That's good to know. The other thing that's added to this is mm. uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay. Uh, diced tomatoes, mm. and I use the little red cherry tomatoes. Okay. Uh, basil mm. and lemon. 
and this is a zest of one lemon and okay. lemon juice. Yes. And then I'm using a little bit of garlic paste. Okay. You can use fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. I like using the garlic paste and it's okay. about a uh, one to two teaspoons of garlic paste to okay. have it that kit. I always have to have a little fresh mm -hmm. black pepper. Yes. And as I'm tossing this up, mm -hmm. I noticed mm -hmm. that um, Evergreen is also offering, I think it's some spaghettis or yes. something in We're offering some more pastas. flavored pastas. Mm -hmm. We're offering the pasta ficho de body tarallo pasta out of Italy. We're having six different um, flavors, spaghetti and then the tagliolini. And so the difference between those two is they come from different regions. Fun fact about the tagliolini, it comes from an egg dough compared to the spaghetti, which is a regular pasta dough. Yeah. And is that a cool uh, air dry yes. pasta yep. as well? The same way, yep, the um, drawn in brawn, so it also has that slow um, drying process. Got this all uh, tossed right. together. It and smells as you can good. see, it smells wonderful. Yes. A good pasta, just pasta with butter and olive oil. It smells and so good. And then we are set to go, Jasmine. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. So we've gone through the the perfect easy prep, mm -hmm. easy meal, mm -hmm. but we need to finish up with the dessert. Yes, we have to have dessert. We have to have dessert. One of our best or our top sellers <laughs> from the first release of the Gourmet Foods is the La Mole cake. Mm. And these are out of Italy and they are already prepared cakes. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, we're gonna serve it on a cheese dome. This is mm -hmm. a small, like a uh, eight inch cake, mm -hmm. but it will fit on a cheese dome. Then you can present it mm -hmm. um, to your guest. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, I'm gonna let you, um, I was sitting there talking so much about the cake, no. I wasn't giving you My the opportunity uh, to, to take it out and open it. But you'll <laughs> see too the way the, um, the presentation of the cake mm -hmm. it is completely wrapped in foil. Yes, and I know we're offering what, four different flavors, and it was chocolate, cherry, lemon, and then a coconut. And coconut, mm -hmm. oh, that coconut would be great too. Mm -hmm. And so this one is in its little tray mm -hmm. inside the foil, and then it has a band on it. Yes. So therefore, you can just put it, let's look on, right. see on the bottom of the yeah. band there. But you've got your beautiful cake. Mm -hmm. You can keep it until it's ready in the dome, and then mm -hmm. your dessert is set. Yeah. We've completed it, yes. a whole meal. Yes. Everything from appetizers, mm -hmm. to salad, to main Pasta, course, to our dessert. Cake. Yes, all brought to you by Evergreen. On behalf of Jasmine and the whole Evergreen product development team and everybody here at Evergreen, we want to thank you for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me. This was so much fun. I learned a lot about cooking. Thank you, Jasmine. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>